This is all very new to me. Oh, I'm sure you won't disappoint him, madam, if that's your concern. You can talk to me about her. I have no secrets from you. All marriages have their secrets. I didn't feel like I had to make the story my own from anyone else. I didn't feel like I had to usurp it from, you know, Sir Lawrence Olivier because I hadn't seen his original version. I kind of came into this fresh. Uh, so I just used the original source material of the book and the amazing script that we had. And then conversations that I had with Lily and Ben and Kristen and everybody else involved about, you know, what we wanted to do in each scene. So I didn't feel like I had to fight to make this my own. It inevitably becomes your own because as Ami says, you, you draw what you draw from the book, from the scripts and how you relate to the character. So we wanted it to feel as sort of modern and organic and collaborative as possible. And I really felt like at a certain point we stopped trying to control it and just let each moment live in the way it did on that day in that setting. Playing a character that is, has been so, um importantly portrayed by Judith Anderson in the Hitchcock version. I wouldn't say it was a challenge because I'm not competing. It is very much its own adaptation of the novel. The beginning is so moving when they first meet in Monte Carlo and then it just sort of drifts off and you want them to reconnect, you want them to reconnect and then it all goes wrong and all of this of course is not helped by yours truly, Mrs. Danvers. who's furious and mad with jealousy and feels that she should have a husband like Army Hammer. <laughs> we, had, we had to work, at, work hard at, at, at making sure that you believe the emotional journey of the characters because there's a lot of kind of um, hysterical peaks and there's a lot of drama that could edge into melodrama. So it was all, it was very um, uh, complicated. I really drew on Mickey and Mallory from Natural Born Killers. I thought that that was you know, kind of a good way in to understand. They were a bit Bonnie and Clyde in our cool car, and it's like, ride or die, death or nothing. That was really fun. It was so many genres squished inside a movie. What was the name of that pub in Heartland? Where oh, everyone... the King's Arms, or the King's the, Head. The King's Head. King's the Arms. King's, something like that. It's a little pub in Heartland, which is like this little- The best pub in the world. It is the best pub in the world. Uh, Kristen Scott Thomas kicked all of our asses at darts while holding a beaker in one hand and just nailing the bullseye. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And I was serving, I was serving pints behind the bar. You know, like behind the <laughs> with bar Megan, with who people. works there, who was a total legend. <laughs> yeah, we kind of took over the whole place. We were playing pool with all the locals. Yeah, with all the locals, it was so great. It was yeah. amazing.